Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to go over the changes that happen to you in pregnancy and how they directly relate to your yoga practice. So within your pregnancy there is a hormone produced called relaxin and this basically is preparing your body to be able to go through the process of delivering a baby. So your ligaments, they're not as stable, they're a little bit looser. People who are already hypermobile need to be really really careful as it's easy to hyperextend here. And believe it or not, but you're actually not really supposed to practice yin. So these are really long holds that work into the ligaments and the fascia and the connective tissue. And whilst that might feel really re relaxing, it's not beneficial during your pregnancy. We should be holding these poses for a maximum of five breaths, maybe a minute. So unfortunately, no yin, but restorative is okay. Another thing is to do with the vena cava. So this is a very a main artery and it's to do with the blood flow within your body. The next thing to note is about the vena cava. So this is a really large vein that's under the right side of a woman's uterus. So laying on your right side will actually compress the blood flow. And within your body, your blood is not just for you, it's for two. So compressing that could cause some problems. So we wanna make sure that we lay on our left side during our practice with a lot of support. And we also do not want to lay directly on our backs. So if you're laying on your back, use some bolsters, some props to be able to support you and I'll be showing you this in another video. So not only are you providing blood flow and food to your baby, but you're also providing oxygen. So there is zero breath retention that we should be practicing in terms of breathing techniques as well. What we can recommend instead is just focusing on a longer exhale. There's also abdominal separation that can occur. So that's where the abdominal wall splits. So we just wanna make sure not to really engage through the rectus abdominis. You can do some light ab work that focuses deeper, so more transverse abdominis. As we mentioned with the relaxin as well, your joints are a little bit less stable because of this hormone flooding through your body. So we wanna make sure to have a neutral pelvis in our practice. So in another video, I'll be showing you how to modify your practice, but we just wanna look after that pelvis. We also want to make sure to look after your blood pressure. So you either might have high blood pressure or low blood pressure during your pregnancy. Both can make you feel quite dizzy and a little bit faint. So we want to make sure to maybe avoid flows um, and, and focus on more gentle movements, stuff that's not going to heat you up too much or have a lot of up and down movements. So in the next video, I'll be showing you some basic tools to be able to modify your practice.